Well, I gotta say, I am, I kind of had it. I'm done with this reality. I'm done with this version. What is this nonsense? Have we gotten lost somewhere? Have we gotten stuck somewhere in the evolutionary path? Did we just go down the wrong branch? What is going on here? In the context of a magnificent multiverse that is full of infinite potential of all the maddeningly beautiful things that could happen in experience. And we've chosen to tune in to this reality of, oh, well, let's just give a couple people all the money and power and then stomp everyone else into oblivion. That's fun, right? And then let's, uh, let's take two sides. We'll call them red and we'll call them blue. The narrowest possible spectrum you could imagine. And let's pit those against each other and get everyone to keep doing this over and over again and bashing our heads together. It's so immature. It's so... Like, where is the learning? Where's the lesson? Where do we get something from this and then take that and grow and move forward and change? Where is that? Like, well, let's, uh, let's just, uh, bomb, let's, let's, let's bomb each other again. Yeah, because it didn't work out the first time, so let's do it again. Oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, let's keep doing it. Oh, yeah, let's do it again. Oh, oh, yeah. Who cares? Oh, women and children or men or teenagers fighting in the war like oh god what are you gonna do this is just boring that's just boring at this point life is like you know it's random it's random right we have fate we have meaning and purpose and all that that's part of it it's random it's random luck luck of the draw genetics totally random you know, we, we, <laughs> we like to find meaning in it, but it's, and it's random. And if you have good luck, you're going to have a fun time. If you have bad luck, you might not have such a good time. It's random. Is the universe just? You be the judge. Is it fair? Eh, I don't know, man. Depends on who you ask. Look in the eyes of a person who, oh, all their relatives just died because they were bombed to oblivion because some morons decided it was a good idea to, you know, uh, look in their eyes and then I talk to them about what's fair. Is it fair? I don't know. Once you're dead, yeah, sure, yeah, why not? It's all equalized. You're, you're, you're gone. It doesn't even matter. While you're here, though, what a shit show. We're still operating on this, like, human version 0.5. Not even version 1.0, 0.5 tribalism, survivalism, and, you know, how much can I hurt you and how much can you hurt me? Because I'm too afraid and I want to protect myself. That's still running the show. I feel it in myself. I see it in the world. Those uh, people who find themselves in a fortunate situation, good for you. You're probably not watching this video right now. Uh, or maybe you are, and you're in such a good spot that you're giving back to the community, and, and great. And if, if more power to you, you know, if there are more people that continue to do that, great, it might tip the scales. But underneath it all, in the roots of it all, there's rotten juice. It's just decomposing, decaying death. And, you know, life plus life equals life, right? Life plus death equals death. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you, I'm not going to explain it any further, but uh, that's just how it is. Life plus life equals life and life plus death equals death. Now, if people would just understand how the natural cycles of things work, like people, am I talking to myself? I don't, I'm not saying I understand anything. I'm just ranting. But if people would understand how the natural cycles of things worked, they would stop this nonsense. They would stop fighting. They'd stop bombing. They would stop buying guns and ammo or whatever it is that you Americans are doing and oh the governments the Chinese government and the American government and who, what, whoever has the money and the power you know I'm not going to name off all the countries who cares this is boring and, and even so it's relative wherever you go in the world there's going to be the same you know we could I'm not even going to go there Syria Sudan what whatever it, you, you name it pick a point on the globe the picture's the same that's uh <laughs> Rage against the machine, right? So we're still there. Um, has anything changed? It feels like nothing has changed. I mean, yeah, things have changed, but 
eh, you, people are really in America here. They're really going, oh, well, I guess we're going to vote for Biden or Trump. <laughs> Is that really what we're going to do, guys? Vote for Biden or Trump? Or whoever else the Democratic Party decides to, because one of those guys, they could die at any moment because they're really old and who knows, maybe their meds stop working or whatever, but they, and they need to replace them with someone else. I'm sure they have plenty of replacements, but you know what I mean, Democrats and the Republicans and blah, 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 blah. No one wants this. Who, who here, if anyone's watching this video and you want this, and this is the reality you want, talk to me. Write, it, write something in the comments and tell me why you like it like this, because I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, if you want a reality that's like a two-party political system that's borders and wars, it, make it make sense to me. Explain it to me. Tell me how it's good. Tell me how it serves. I guess we have maybe different agendas because my agenda is uh, not only humanist, but globalist and sort of I value all life the same. And that's a hard take, you know, as a human. Human, I mean, just like any other species, they're trying to propagate themselves. Although humans are kind of giving up on that now. We've strapped ourselves so tightly that uh, birth rates are declining, fertility rates are declining. Oh, why, aren't any, why is no one having kids anymore? <laughs> well, I could tell you, I ended up having a child. Guess what? Didn't work out anyway. Child got taken away from me. Why? Because I have no money and I'm disabled. No one's going to help. No one's going to help me. Um, so, you know, it's... <laughs> those, those old biological programs, not so good anymore. Not so good if you have, um, at the same time, you have a functioning frontal lobe and neocortex and the ability to distance yourself from your immediate survival situation and try to plan for a better future. It doesn't add up. Um, capitalism, whatever, you know, that's its own virus that's taken hold of humanity and it's playing itself out and it's doing its thing. Good for you, you know. Capitalism isn't even a human invention. Capitalism is a... Capitalism is just one of many different kinds of entities or energies that it, it just kind of said, oh, wow, here's a host. Whoop, hopped on into humanity and just kind of ran with it. And it's taken us for a ride. Uh, we got what we could out of it. Uh, it's coming to an end. And um, that's uncomfortable. That's very uncomfortable because without capitalism, we've been on that steam engine for a while now. And if it just kind of vanishes, what's going to happen? What are we going to do? Where are we going to get our juice from at this point? Um, I don't know why that's so scary, but it is. I think it's because it could lead to a lot of loss. You know, we are certainly trying to hold that system up, but it's kind of where it's, it's done with us almost. So, well, yeah, that's, I think that's a really uncomfortable subject for most people to even get to talk about at this point still. I don't think that it is something that we can talk about yet. Um, it's like too soon. Um, the writing's on the wall, but it's like, ooh, we shouldn't, you know, it's like, too, it's one of those, yeah, it's too soon. Just don't, just don't, you know, don't, don't make, don't point out the obvious. You know what I mean? Let's, let's just kind of, sit here and kind of process our feelings a little bit more uh, about this whole end of end of capitalism thing. And um, yeah, it needs to just have its last gasp or whatever. Fine. Ah, anyway. It's so hard to sit here now as a person with, I have like, really screwed up health situations going on that if you have severe autoimmune problems or genetic diseases, rare genetic mutations and things like that, that cause malfunctions that aren't really addressable by modern science. Um, or if you have severe chronic pain type conditions, you might understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, it's pretty hard to participate in the sort of discourse, the normal discourse of what human beings are, are doing and talking about when suddenly all of your faculties are kind of removed. Um, 
and it's just replaced with pain and, and breakdown and suffering. And you're just trying to keep your body from falling apart, which in a normal existence, it's more like the body rises and we have activity and it eventually, hopefully gracefully kind of falls away. Um, but with these kinds of conditions, like sometimes it just doesn't really work the way it's supposed to. And, you know, if you've ever, if you're someone who ever had a child that was born with a really difficult condition and, you know, we give ourselves the options as humans to test for all these things and cancel the baby, say, we don't want to deal with that. It's too much suffering, you know? I get that's reasonable because compared with how life can be experienced, if you have to experience it through this really gnarly lens, um, it's so constrictive that it's like, yeah, just walking around in a in kind of a straight jacket. And meanwhile, everyone else is dancing. They're doing the Cirque du Soleil and just to have to, to have to be with that. It's, it, it can drive you a little crazy. The programming is starting to starting to kick in like all the programming that I got as a child, which was that I don't exist and I should be dead. Um, that like social conditioning from like my religion, my family's religion and from um, the I don't know where else it came from, like the messages that I should just die, kill myself, shouldn't exist or don't exist. Um, it's like it's it's starting to kind of come through, right? And it's, yeah, it's unfortunate. Because um, I thought when I was really young, I thought I was pretty cool. I thought I was an awesome human being and had a lot of wonderful gifts to offer the world. And um, the world was just like, you're terrible and you should probably die. In fact, you should definitely die. In fact, we're going to try and kill you. It's like, whoa, where, where does that, where do people get off? Anyway, it's not even about any individual person. This is just the way it is. This is what I'm talking about. It's all this anger, this hateful energy that like, you, it's hard. It's hard to deal with. So yeah, like yesterday or the day before, woke up in the morning and all of a sudden just was like having KMS thoughts. And I'm not even going to say what that is because I'm sure YouTube's probably not a fan of that. But it was like out of nowhere and totally calm, totally dispassionate. Like I'm sitting here like, yeah, I know. And I'm not depressed. I know that I'm not. De I don't have a problem with my serotonin level. It's not like if taking an SSRI is not going to help me. Uh, it's not like that, you know, and just sitting here stuck with this trauma. You want to call it that? Whatever. And powerless to do anything about it just you just have to let it happen it, it, it's infuriating you know um and sure we can always take the high road and a lesson oh letting go yeah blah 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 always it's always available you know and i think that's the that's the real problem with the whole religion and the whole god thing it's like well, everything sucks. Cool. Just go with this one size fits all solution. Oh, God's going to take care of it. You know, God created a shitty world for you. Well, God loves you anyway. Don't worry about it. Yeah. When you're dead, when you don't exist anymore, um, that look, of course, that would be a relief, right? For most people in this kind of suffering, that's a relief. It's, it's being here. That's the hard part. And it's especially when you don't get moments of periods of reprieve from that suffering or relief from that suffering and it just gets worse and worse and worse it doesn't get better that's the that's the sort of secret that they don't tell you you know is it doesn't get better they used to say um, for gay people it gets better no it doesn't get better and that applies to everyone it doesn't get better <laughs> it does it doesn't get worse but it just sucks and um people just want it they want to fix it they want to fix that life is 
life sucks, it life is unfair, blah, blah, blah. And with something like that, that is just so undeniable, um, what can we do other than, you know, you can't fight against it. So comparing that, you know, that's one of the lessons that does help. Uh, I think I'll get this. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Hello, this is Charles.